So the question is going into tomorrow's session was, well, was this just strictly a res day for the bulls to continue to go on higher? Or if you're in the bear case and say, well. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a, a pretty good day. Biggest question today uh, coming into today's session was, well, how long can the market um, kind of maintain and uh, brush away bad news? Uh, three days in a row, we had good gap downs in the market. The bulls came back very, very aggressively. They bought the gap. And the question was, can they do it again, right? That's the most important part. And the, the aspect of that question, because again, remember, we're still below the 200 day moving average. From the bull side of it is, well, yeah, we've been, we've been discounting bad news now for three days. We're learning, remember we talked about the video last night? We're learning how to live with this war uh, type of uh, environment. And I think we just start grinding back higher. The bear case was, well, nothing has materialistic changed. We broke down below the 200 day moving average two months ago. We've seen this movie before that the bulls thought this was a, a, you know, a, a capitulation bottom. We rallied into the 20 day moving average. We got stuffed and we saw the lows uh, approximately a month later. And that's exactly what was happening uh, going into today's session. So I, what I thought was going to happen and my game plan was take the stronger names that had big, big pushes over the last couple of days and maybe we could get one more hurrah. If you guys remember last night's video, I said, if we can just have a a gap down open and see if we could get back to green, I think there was a shot we could get to that 350, uh, 352 level. And unfortunately for the bulls, it didn't really happen, right? Uh, it was a very, very quiet day. Um, there was only two natural pivots uh, that confirmed uh, the whole day. One of them, luckily enough, was Tesla. We'll get to the pivots in a second. But the most important part was right from the word go, Everything was just basically trading in the middle of the ranges. Uh, and if you look at a lot of 60 minute charts uh, for the whole day, you kind of see what I'm talking about. So you have Tesla outside of, you know, outside of this big spike. And again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. You know, it just basically just went sideways the whole day, right? Like literally sideways. Uh, you look at a name like Apple. Again, very, very tight range. Sold off a little bit later uh, in the day. You got Netflix, the same thing going sideways. There was a lot of charts like that, right? A lot of looking charts. Uh, that completely had no energy, wasn't, you know, they, they didn't have enough juice to obviously go higher. Uh, there wasn't enough uh, fear, especially after the last three, four days of kind of buying the dip. Uh, there was really no fear to kind of push the market lower in the beginning, right? And then slowly but surely uh, throughout the day, you started seeing, you know, some pretty aggressive, the one thing we didn't see uh, for the last couple of days was pretty aggressive, sell buys puts, right? People buying puts into strength. We didn't see that. This morning, you started seeing the one thing that if you are a bull, you don't want to see, right? Uh, they were coming for with some pretty big size, right? Deep out of the money uh, puts short term expiration, whether it was the weeklies, uh, whether it was next week's, but they started coming in with six and seven figure bets on Tesla. Uh, big, you know, pretty big bets, uh, deep out of the money, uh, expiration on the video. We saw today when the stock was at, uh, 230, 237, which was the five day moving average. And, and this is a pretty good segue into what I think could happen next. We started seeing, you know, 230, 225, 220 weekly puts. And that's, you know, that was 15, 20 points, uh, out of the money and slowly but surely, and you see what the cues did today, slowly but surely, if you look at the, you know, if, if you look at the intraday moves, right, they were just doing nothing through the whole day and then violently went lower. Went sideways, tried to rally and violently went lower only to kind of rally back into the close. And when you look at the big picture of what happened today is, well, the cues lost the five day moving average and you could turn around and say, wow, well, that's it. You know, we're gonna go right back lower, but the problem is, for the bear case that they came back and they reclaimed the five day moving average on the close. So the question is going into tomorrow's session was, well, was this just strictly a res day for the bulls to continue to go on higher? 
or if you're in the bear case and say, well, the bears got, you know, the bears uh, did their job, right? They defended the 20 day supply. The bulls had a three, you know, four day rally, three and a half day rally. And then all of a sudden, you know what? We're going back to sell, right? We don't know, right? I, I think tomorrow we'll get a, a very good answer uh, to that question. And the most important part is if you're doing your chart work tonight, you'll see there's a lot of stocks either on their 10 or five day moving average, which basically means is they are on short term support, right? The 10 day moving average and the five day especially is the shortest term sentiment. Whoever has control of the five day moving average likely will control the next day. And this is why it's super duper important. So I don't think you have to be uh, too creative uh, in, in tonight's preparation. Look, go through the NASDAQ 100, right? Go through you know, any, whatever your drug of choice is, SPYs, uh, the Russell, whatever, whatever your choice is of trading. But if you go through those charts, you'll notice there's a lot of stocks sitting on their five or 10 day moving average, just kind of the mirroring the QQQs. So if the Qs give up, right? If the Qs give up tomorrow and start taking out today's lows, you wanna start looking at those stocks because if the five and 10 day does confirm, usually that follows a pretty good strong bias in that direction. And if you start looking at some cases in point, let me just show you, you know, in the video, we talked about it uh, a few minutes ago. It gave up its five day moving average very, very quickly today, really, really quickly, and sold all the way down to this 231, 232 level. You know, if this thing starts confirming down tomorrow, especially with the deep out of the money, you know, you're talking about they were coming for the 225s and 220s for the weeklies. I mean, do the math. You still have 15 points of downside uh, to the next demand zone. Look at Tesla, for example. And Tesla, I, I will say this much Tesla had a pretty Pretty interesting day today in the options market. We saw some pretty deep out of the money leaps, right? We saw the 1300s traded today, the 1400s, uh, the 2024, I think 1600s with, with big, big seven figure bets. Now, before you get excited, always also remember what we saw today to the downside as well. We saw uh, for next week's expiration, we saw 850s, 845s, and 800 puts as well with the same type of money flow with you know with a half a million a million two million dollar bets in that direction so nothing you know nothing really stood out as far as directional bias but you're kind of looking at the same thing you know here's the 10 day moving average on on tesla right here's the 10 day and if it confirms the 10 day it should go lower if it reclaims back today's channel it should go back to the 150 day moving average so i i think tomorrow uh, we'll definitely get some clarity. And if you look at um, you know some names today for tonight, you, you could see where the money flow is for the, for tomorrow. You got Tesla keeping an eye on tomorrow. Nvidia. Uh, look at Amazon, right? Uh, Amazon, you know, had a, a pretty big flush today. Again, saved uh, saved by the rally in the queues. But hey, if Amazon starts losing the five day moving average, you guys remember when it lost that that the uh, 30, 30 17 area? And I said there's a shot it gets to the twenty seven hundreds. Right, so you know, take a look at this thing. This thing starts starts losing uh, this whole five day moving average. Look how much room you have. You have, you know, literally have a couple hundred points. Assuming, again, assuming uh, the market gets pulled. Uh, Lucid had, you know, some, you know, very very uneventful uh, earnings. Uh, day two earnings plays. I'm always interested in. Keep an eye on this thing if it starts losing uh, today's range for a second day wash. Uh, also, a name like. Uh, Amberella, right? Uh, Amberella as well got you know pretty pretty big beat up here today. Uh, this thing confirms today's channel. You could have a day two selling uh, after the close. Yeah, again, not a lot. Uh, you know, not a lot of really uh, big earnings. You had AMC for the for the for the ape crowd. Is that what they call the ape crowd? The ape crowd. Um, you know, the, the earnings actually looked okay. They actually didn't didn't look horrible. Stock is up about thirty cents after the close. Really have no interest there one way or another. Uh, also, uh, Joe Biden is uh, giving a State of the Union uh, address tonight. You know, I don't know how much that is going to, uh, you know, play a part for tomorrow. I mean, you could pretty much guess what, we're gonna, what he's going to stay. We, you know, we stand with, you know, we stand with uh, the Ukraine, um, you know, blah, 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 blah 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 ev blah 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 emissions blah 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 everything else everybody stands up they cheer they sit down they stand up they cheer these poor 80 90 year old senators and and, and uh 
different colleagues that they, they must hate this day. But other than that, I, I just don't see anything that's going to come out of it uh, that's going to rattle the markets or uh, give a boost to the markets one way or another. So, but I think tomorrow we'll get a little bit more clarity um, to see what potentially could happen just just from the technical point of view. And I, I don't think anything materialistic is going to come out overnight that's going to uh, get the markets going one way or another. Uh, just you know, quickly getting into the pivots today again. Uh, very, very slow day today. We were watching uh, Amazon to the upside, never confirmed. This was literally uh, the only you know, really good move of the day, literally one of the very few names that, that tr triggered. Uh, yesterday's high was at 877 second entry. There's a little bit of supply, 881, 82. Stock went to about 89. Nice trade. I mean, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with the trade. Uh, again, very, very quiet day today. It's kind of a, it was one of those days it was more watching than anything else. Uh, Netflix never got up there. UPST stopped right at 61, didn't do anything. Uh, DOCS didn't do anything. Uh, DWAC you know, rallied to about 95, 96 bucks, really didn't do anything. And that was it. You know, it's Snapchat, um, you know, bingo. That was literally, literally the only thing, uh, the only thing that popped off today. Other than that, there was a lot of watching, a lot of preparation, and a lot of data uh, being taken. That's it, right? Not every day you can go 100 miles an hour. The most important part is learn how to shift gears. We'll see what Biden says tonight. We'll see how the futures play out tomorrow morning. But the most important part is stay and be prepared for the next day so there are no surprises. Guys, God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow.